but guys, before I show you what I got to sell on eBay, man, I got to show you something. <coughs> Apparently, I have a new pet peeve. I opened my door today, and this little advertisement, this, uh, <laughs> oh my God, was wrapped around my doorknob. And when I opened the door, it swung up towards me, man, and my ninja skills, like, came into play. And you would have thought, man, like a viper was coming at me the way I freaking went into my pose and stuff. So, yeah, this 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 really actually kind of set me off, man. I mean, who goes around to people's doors and hangs stuff on them, man? It's, it's kind of creepy, you know. So, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks to the furniture store for wasting people's time, money, and making trash. Anyway, now that's over with. This is stuff I got on eBay, okay? I'll put a link down in the description below. I put them up today. They'll be up for seven days. Still don't know what's going on with my camera here, <clears throat> so sorry about the uh, fuzziness or whatever it is about it. But anyway, I think uh, I'll get through these pretty quick. Uh, they're self-explanatory. Some are cheaper than others. Some I'm, you know, asking a little bit of money for, but you'll see why. Okay. First of all, I got two beat-up issues of Submariner from uh, I think these came out in 1971, issue 31 and 39. Uh, like I said, they're in different states of, uh, you know in their condition this one's a little bit beat up and dog-eared and stuff but you know I put them in the description and uh, a lot of them I'll, I'll talk down so they should go cheap okay next thing I have is some Jim Steranko, Jack Kirby, Stan Lee, Silver Age stuff Strange Tales uh, number 164 these uh, have two stories two anthologies a piece going through them Doctor Strange Nick Fury uh, 163 and one of these, I think it's this one's beat up. It's got to rip up the spine up to about here and some other things. Like I said, I put it in the description so those can be, you know, pretty cheap. Uh, an issue of uh, Doctor Strange that has some chipping on it, man. Gene Cullen's artwork on this with the Roy Thomas script was is excellent. Excellent. Think about finding these in trade or uh, maybe once, uh, you know, get a little mo more money coming in, I, I might back up and try to get these. I hate that because now that the... Uh, Doctor Strange movie's been announced. You know, it might be, you know, maybe it'll come out with some trades. Who knows? You know, uh, Captain Savage and his Leatherneck Raiders from, uh, you know, number two from the Silver Age. All right, this has the Marvel stamp cut out of it, but it's still a pretty cool uh, reader copy. Uh, still got gloss on the cover. <clears throat> um, uh, just you know, phenomenal book. I uh, love it. It's the first appearance of Fire Lord in Thor 225. I hope I remembered that right. Then I have uh, four issues of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, these are, there's a Nick Fury and his Howling Commandos cover. You know, Buffy taking a big riff on uh, X-Men. Buffy doing the Action Comics number one. And uh, I don't remember what this is an homage to, but these are all, uh, those are all the variant covers from over the years. Hated giving this up because I won it in a contest, but uh, like I said, uh, I uh, got the uh, Spawn 223, the uh, homage to the Walking Dead cover, and I've thrown in issue 111. Uh, just kind of as a bonus there. Okay, I don't have certificates for these, but, you know, there's no doubt in my mind. This is the Michael Turner uh, signature covers. I got four of them, and they're also signed by Detron, J.D. Smith, David Wall. These were signed at the Heroes Con in Charlotte in June 97. Uh, uh, Witchblade, Witchblade Electra Crossover. So yeah, trying to get the glare off there. But yeah, they're they're all signed by Mike Turner. Rest in peace. So and basically, there's just people who are uh, bigger fans of Michael Turner than I am. <clears throat> Michael Turner never blew me away, but it's one of those artists where I mean, you know, the guy was good, he was talented. But I just saw a comic book artist. Um, people love his stuff. More power to him. Uh, Mark Wade signed this Captain America number one, so that's kind of cool. Okay, these have certificates of authenticity. What I'm going to show you now, uh, Mark Bailey signed this uh, Amazing Spider-Man 386. So there's just some signed comics. Mike Ringo did the uh, cover of this and he signed it. Uh, you know, he passed away also. This is from 90, 1997 that he signed it. Comes with a certificate. I think I put these in one lot. These are uh, X Factor uh, books by Steve uh, Epting who signed these covers and they both come with certificates of authenticity so there you go what do we got going here we got a batman new 52 lot I bought these a couple years ago with a couple issues that i already had 
I'm 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 just not into the DC 52, uh, but I think by and far, you know, Batman, uh, the Scott Snyder Batman stuff's at least in the top three all you know books that they're doing. <coughs> but uh, yeah, I got two copies of issue 16. These are not in order now, so there's two copies of 16, uh, number 17, number 12. We all know there's a key first appearance in there. You know, last I heard, uh, number 15. Uh, we got Batman Death of a Family number 13 with the uh, Joker cover that when you open it there's a picture of Batman like he's wearing the mask. Then I also had uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws number 15 where you open this up and it's the Red Hood. Okay. And number 9, uh, little, uh, a little uh, chapter in the Night of Owls storyline. Okay. That was phenomenal. Then I got a Deadpool lot going on. First I have uh, this Marvel Masterpieces card from I think 96. 95, 1995. This actually came in a Wizard magazine when they were bagged. So there's a Deadpool card. I got the X Force sealed number one with the Deadpool card. Okay. Uh, yeah, and the rest are all Deadpool. Deadpool Max uh, two, the sequel. Um, what number is that? Number two. Okay. Uh, number one. And number three, and then Deadpool Max. I think eleven and twelve of the Deadpool Max original first series. Uh, Deadpool and Maximus special. Uh, Deadpool 98, 1998 series uh, number sixteen. That was kind of cool. And then I have a bunch of X Force appearances, uh, multiple copies. Oh, yeah, three of those. Okay. That's it. That's what's on eBay for you know for the upcoming week. I am Scarab Two S K A R A B Two, uh, the number two. And like I said, I'll put a link on there, and there's also a link on my channel page. Okay, guys. Later.